Yeah, I, I said it, but I don't want. I mean, if he wants to do it again, just for the future. Yeah. No, I, I'm sorry. I said. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> uh, which is what's the wait? What's the first fight? Gary Stark, right? Yeah. Okay. And <clears throat> look at tail of the tape and Gary Stark back on Broadway boxing, the 27-year-old uh, New Yorker taking on 29-year-old Robert Deleuze, very even up in other areas. Deleuze thinks he's longer and taller, but he isn't. Robert Deleuze, limited amateur career, partly because he's been four years in the Navy, 300 tough man fights. He was a KO specialist, this little guy then. Interesting story outside the ring, but inside the ring, he's last lost his last three by decision. Seventh fight this year, needs a good win now. Interesting fighter. He's been in tough man contests, and that is exactly what he is, a tough man. Been knocked down a bunch of times. I count at least six in four different fights. He's been stopped only one time in his career. Looking for Gary. And that long walk here in Hollywood, Florida. Gary Stark Jr. on the road, Brooklyn, New York. That's not Gary. Where are you, Gary? It better not be. He looks pretty out of shape, but <laughs> I don't want to take a shot at that guy. <laughs> That's where I need to go. <laughs> Here we go. Maybe. And a look at Gary Stark Jr. from Brooklyn, New York. 27-year-old, three-year pro, three-time New York Golden Gloves champion. You've seen him on Broadway boxing before, but you haven't seen him trying to bounce back from one of the most devastating knockouts you'll ever see. He has fought once since, and he was sluggish and cautious. So self-doubt, definitely an issue. And so is mental toughness, Steve, having to put that behind you somehow. Very tough. I asked his dad how long did it take Gary Stark to overcome being ashamed. He was ashamed of getting knocked out the way he did. And his dad said it took him longer than a month. So th it's all about uh, the emotional and the psychological, not the physical for Gary Kid Stark. There's Stark. You just saw Robert Deleuze. who didn't come here, Deleuze. Very good. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, Hollywood, our next bout of the evening is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing in the featherweight division. Your judges scoring this bout at ringside are Bill Ray, Peter Tremetera, and Rocky Young. Your referee in charge of the action is Teles Asamino. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks. He weighed in at 123 pounds. He is a veteran of 21 professional bouts from Providence, Rhode Island. Here is Bobby. Don't lose the lose. His opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing the orange trunks with the black trim. He weighed in at 122 and one half pounds. His professional record, 19 wins, two losses with eight wins by way of knockout. He comes from the Big Apple, New York, New York. Here is Gary Kid Star. Man, Gary Stark's got some trunks going there. And the, that long hose, huh? Look at Deleuze. He's not impressed. 300 tough men contests. <laughs> yeah, really. 
I don't care how many he lost. He had to come exactly. to fight. You can't exactly. fake it in those. Gentlemen, you have received instructions in the dressing rooms. Obey my commands at all times and protect your souls at all times. Your belts, they're perfect. Anything below here is a low blow. Shake hands. God bless. And as is his... Uh... As is usually the case with Gary Stuck, he does not look at his opponent during the referee's final instructions. Whatever works, right? Well, you know, you it's so much easier to say the oh, lose in black because I can't figure out the color of Gary Stark's trunks. What would you say? It, it reminds Pumpkin me of Halloween orange? is what yeah, it does. Yeah. The black and the... Uh, not quite. Yeah, It's a shiny ah. one, so... We'll see. Again, Stark has had a, a fight and a win, a distance win in Louisville, Kentucky against an overmatched opponent to start building that confidence. But, you know, he hangs his heart and emotions on his sleeve, Steve. You know, when he talks to us, he's just such a likable guy. We've said it so many times. and He's just so purely honest that, of course, you, you wonder if you still have it, if you're in the right game. And you just can't put it behind you. It's such a tough sport. It's not like you made an error like the... You know, and lost the World Series even. Uh, it's sure. a team game. This is different. And let's face it, when Gary Stark got knocked out on Broadway Boxing, we were worried about him. I mean, it was a devastating oh, knockout. And they're going back in the oh. dressing room after. Yeah. Really had to feel for him. He's a very skilled fighter, New York Golden Glove champion. That has to help him overcome the psychological trauma of being KO'd. He has to believe in his own ability. I mean, he has to box, box, box. box. And that's what I, I'm with you on that. And it looks like he is definitely. Let the lose, run into shots. Nice overhand fight as Stark really fired that. Fight. Landed on the shoulder, though. Didn't do any damage. Crowd uh, overreacted a little bit. There. Oh, and a good right from the lose. He gets a little wild. He wants to take Stark out of his comfort zone, like here. He wants to be inside and smother him and be in his face and pressure. Will that be a mistake or not? Stark wisely brings the fight back into the center of the ring. Really intriguing to watch this one. All about the mental state of Gary Stark. Anxious, angry, despondent, but now more motivated. There's that jab right hand. I like his right hand. Even, uh, and he's still going for it there. And Deleuze being more evasive. But Deleuze talked to me yesterday at the way and said uh, he felt he was longer again, taller. But as they match up here, it's apparent he's not. So he's got to get inside. And Stark's not going to accommodate him so so easily, Steve. Uh, no, he should mentioned. It. Right. No. Good move by boxing. Good as he sinks a right hand to the belly and then follows up with that right hand to the head. So Stark punching wisely, volume punching combinations. Moving right and then left again, controlling flow, action, pace, dictating distance. So Gary Stark early in the fight doing all the right things. Well, you know, his dad, who knows him so well as a fighter, put it best yesterday. He said he wants Gary to have fun. He wants the kid to have fun in the ring. If Gary starts boxing well, he's having fun. That means making the other guy miss, making the other guy look silly, depending on speed and movement. Right hand from a little bit of a desperation. Stark was simply off balance there. He gets wrapped, though, body, and then a uh, clean-up left hook to the head. It says bring it on a little bit more. But that was a good flurry.